Okay, some of you might know that in previous versions of Advanced Garden, this uh, was done quite differently. To change the axis, you would uh, need to do it in the fit skill and rebuild. And what we can do to have a close look at that is I can quickly just go to the About section. And in here, you can roll back to any older version. Let's jump back to version 6.2. And if we open this, we'll see that in here, Firstly, in the preparation rig section, this is where mirror translate was the option. And it would just be set once for the entire rig. And like now you can set it per controller. And also in the body edit section, this is the old orientations where you, to make any orientation changes, you would switch to the fit skeleton and you can show the joint axis and you could go in here and modify which are your preferred axes. Now, issue in this older version is if you change to a preferred axis that did not align with the bone, you would get issues with your twist joints and in between joints and bendy systems. So, in this new version, the underlying rig and underlying skeleton will have the default X down the bone orientation, but your controllers, you are free to do any orientation that you wish. A common request is that you wish to have the spine world oriented. Some animators really prefer that. Um, and in the old system, if you switch to the fit skeleton and made the deformation joints world oriented, you could easily get orientations that did not align with the bone, therefore causing issues with the in-between joint system that is by default in the spine. So let's quickly go to the about section. I'll jump back to the latest version again. And we'll see here that in now in this latest version that if you wanted world oriented spine controllers, select all this and make them world oriented. And there we go. They are world oriented. By the way, world oriented, if you're unsure about what that orientation is, you can go into the heads up display and show origin axis. And you will see that this is the orientation of the world. Y straight up, X going down the side and Z forwards. And you see that now we have got the same orientation for these FK controllers. Even if, as we can see, the joints are still X down the bottom. Now, given that you can now customize controller orientations separate from the skeleton, it is kind of important to still Make sure you have good or clean orientations in the skeleton. And what I mean by that, we'll show you here. Let's go ahead and make an example where you might want to use control orient to fix a problem with the joint orientations. And it will not be an appropriate solution. The appropriate solution can often be to fix the underlying skeleton. Let's take a closer look. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna toggle to the fit. We're gonna delete the advanced skeleton. Go back to a clean fit skeleton, turn off joint axis, and I'm gonna purposely create a bit of an issue here to show you what I mean. Let's have a leg that is nearly straight, but it does have a tiny little bit of rotation in some axis. Now, this is quite a common issue. You might set up your joints, you're happy with your joint placement, and you go ahead. Actually, since we're just looking at the leg on this, let's simplify the rig. We'll just go ahead and delete the arm. And why not delete the head as well? Here we go. Simplifying the rig. And I'm going to turn back off that origin axis as well. Okay. Let's say you've placed your fit joints and you go to build your advanced skeleton and you're finding that the pole vectors are kind of pointing outwards and you're not quite happy with the way that IK works. And you're not sure why and you want them to be pointing straight forwards. Now this is a case where it's not an appropriate solution just to go to control orient here and detach controllers, move this to be pointing forward and reattaching it. Sure enough, it kind of works. However, 
it is not a appropriate solution. What should be done here is to fix the actual orientations in the fit skeleton. And to deal with this kind of issue, there's a special function. So we'll delete the advanced culinary. If you get end up with pole vectors aiming a direction that is not your intentions, it is often useful to go ahead and display the pole vector option here. If you turn that on, you'll now see that this has this triangle pointing out to the side. Now, when the angle of the knee is very slight, it might not be as obvious and easy to understand why it is going in this direction. If I move the knee and the ankle to make a much larger angle, it becomes more obvious. You can see now that it's the hip, knee, ankle joints form a virtual triangle, and that determines the, what's going to be the direction of the IK. But obviously, if this angle is ever so slight, then it's not as easy as to see. So the appropriate solution to this would be to just move one of these joints. For example, you could move knee joint ever so slightly. So we can select that, hit insert on the keyboard. It allows us to move that joint and we'll move it so ever so slightly. So it lines up and we get a pole vector plane that it's aiming forwards. And then we hit build our advanced skeleton and our pole vector is aiming forwards. Another similar situation where you could have a non-intended joint orientation and it would be inappropriate to try and fix it with control orient is the fingers. So we're just gonna look at the fingers here. Let's delete the leg to optimize the rig, delete the neck as well. So I'm just gonna intentionally actually cause a bit of a problem here so that we can look at how to fix it if you come across this. We'll hit build out advanced skeleton. And I'm also gonna say, go ahead and create boxes just so we can more easily see what's going on. Uh, in the geometry poly box, create box skin. Okay, if we now take a look at this hand, if we try to curl up the fingers, we're starting to see the issue. The fingers are all mostly curling in the right direction. However, the index here is off in the wrong direction. So this could be an issue where you go, huh, I know how to fix this. Let's go to control orient. I'll just detach all the controllers. Go ahead, rotate this controller and reattach it. Well, sure enough, now you do have a controller that is in the desired orientation, but it's not an appropriate fix. It's a bit of a hack. So in this case, I would not use control orient to do this kind of fix and do a couple of steps. Instead, we'll go to the fit skeleton. I'm just gonna hide the box skin. And we can say it shows the joint axis. And we can see here that the index finger does not have matching orientations to the other fingers. Now the audio orient is going to work a little bit different on the fingers or actually if you're in the IK system or not. Here you're as we saw with the pole vector plane you're in an IK system so the audio orient will not only make sure that the X is going down the bone but the other axes too are determined automatically for you by this virtual plane. So that Z axis is in this case pointing upwards, but if you were to try to rotate it and you hit update now, you will see it will just snap back. The up axis here is determined by the IK plane. This is not gonna be the same on the fingers. On the fingers, yeah, sure enough, if I move one of these guys, I hit update now, the X, axis will update to make sure you're pointing down to the child. But the up axis is not automatically determined. The auto orient will actually try to preserve the up axis that you have set. So for the fingers, because they're not in an IK chain, you have free control of which uh, axis is upwards. The X axis will automatically be set to aim at this child, but the up, 
you are free to orient as you wish. So you might want to pay some attention to which the direction it is pointing. And if you wanted to look what the actual numbers are in here and how many degrees, it might not always be intuitive to look at the rotations because you'll see if you update now, hit update now, the rotations are for all these joints going to be zero because the values are stored in the joint orient. And a way to look at that is you can obviously go into the attribute editor and take a look in the joint orient section here. But a more easy way is just to say you want to see joint orient. And as the help image here says, uh, turning on this checkbox, we'll just enable these joint orient channels to show in the channel box. And we can now see the exact values that we're dealing with here. And if we wanted that X to point exactly upwards, just as the parent joint, just enter the number zero here. So that will be zero degrees twisted compared to its parent. Okay. I'll just hit rebuild advanced skeleton on this one. And show the box skin again. And we can see that now when we curl the fingers, they are all neatly oriented in the same direction, except the thumb, which has its own 45 degree angle, which it should be doing. And that's it for this video about control orient. And I'll see you next time.